According to Sunderland's owner, Ellis Short, his club should be challenging to be one of the top eight teams in the country. A remarkable statement given they are now bottom of the championship and drifting towards a second. Successive relegation. Short's decision to speak to the club's in-house media to address the crisis following the sacking of manager Simon Grayson last week was commendable, but as with much of his time on Wearside, what the Americans said was misguided. Sunderland have had three top ten finishes in the top flight in the last 60 years and even when they were in the Premier League, all they did was fight to stay there. It has taken more out of them than anyone realized. There does not appear to be any fight left. The Black Hats could well be playing in League One next season. For only the second time in their history. A disaster that, given the size of their debts and Short's refusal to spend any of his own money, could take years to recover from. Whoever replaces Grayson has a huge job on their hands and the size of the challenge, combined with Short's apparent delusion, will scare off many potential candidates.